It's the big DJ with the big sound. We're talking DJ me stamped in the street. <laughs> For me, I don't see. Yeah, man. Well, Earl need to be nice. Why do you love bartenders so much? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Yeah, about. damn. Everybody wants to know why, and I want you to explain to the people why you will sell your own dick to fuck a bartender. Earl has to not get behind the camera. Great question. <laughs> this nigga will sell his own dick. Any bartender, it don't matter. Yeah, well, you know, any bartender, not any but, but the average good, I can make a drink and get you fucked up, bartender. That's him. Make a good drink. My dog like a good drink. I didn't, I didn't ask that question. That's a good question. I got better on that Think one. about it. Deep down, think about it. Doesn't matter. Every club we go to, and you see a good bartender, even other day when we was in the old with that new, new bartender, new, new, that new bartender, <laughs> with new bartender, the one that you brought the drink for the whole just because you want the bartender to come over though, the nigga bought it. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm not, 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 and you recording this shit, you recording this shit, no real shit, nah, my dog had a whole strategy. Let me tell you, my dog strategy. I had to step back and watch the whole thing too. So, so I let us fall over. Nah, nah, nah. So my dog, there was two holes in the oh, we in the old vibe. Right, it's like three holes, two holes behind us, two new girls and a regular. So it's three of them behind us, right? And the whole time they they looking at him, hey, me, and my other dog, we with. Cool, no problem. Earl said, Come on, come on, come on, come here. And I'm like, I know you're not about to buy a strip or a drink. Like, what? You don't buy drinks? He don't buy, he don't buy strip oh, okay. drinks. Earl. Earl though. So he brought the he brought the girl the drink, but he called her. He's like, go 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 get the bartender, come back. I don't call the bartender just because he wanted to see the bartender come from behind the bar wall. Then she got the drink, whatever. He gave no money. My boy. He 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 came with the hood, and then she walked back. And I said, you did all of that, like and the bitch still walked back. She coming back to you. I'm gonna buy another one. You gonna buy her a drink? You gonna buy the stripper the drink? I might buy the stripper the drink. Two seconds later, Earl getting up buying another bitch a drink just because he wants to talk to the boss. No, but never happened though. The other dancer came back, came to me. Oh, the other dancer came to him because the other dancer seen him buying drinks. The whole time. No, she, she don't drink. Whole time, Earl over there looking at the bartender. Ain't paying no attention. All right, so here's the question What's the bartender? See, but she 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 was just like a newbie. You know how they be testing out new girls and shit like that. So that, I'm telling her that she ain't even gonna last a week. I, have we seen her since then? Yeah, I seen her. You seen when? I'm gonna show a date over there. You see what? She's off Mondays and Wednesdays. There you go. She's off Mondays and Wednesdays, my boy. She said, hey, let me take my drugs. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The question you need to ask which bartender got the most money out of me? Tiff. No. Barbie. No. No, no. I know it wasn't Dolly. Tiff, Tiff comes third. I know it wasn't Dolly. Hell no. Dolly, Dolly, nah, Dolly. Dolly, 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 Dolly. I know it wasn't Drew. Nah, 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 Drew. Um, wait, wait, I gotta think. Oh, I gotta go back, back, Tell back, you. back. Hmm? Tell you. Yeah, I'm a dog right there. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Hell yeah, I'm a dog. It was, um... Damn, she's an old school girl. Old school? She's old she school girl. She's gonna write this. 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 Down, I don't know if you remember. You probably will remember her from the mix. Who? Which one? Sonya? Crave. Mm. She was at the O? No, no Crave. Who I said, whatever, whatever. Archer got That's what you spent the most on Crave? Crave. My dog. Yeah, I fuck with Crave too. That's what I mean. That's the crave, thing crave, of crave, crave, crave. Naya when we go on the Naya! I'm like, yo, stop yelling! <laughs> yeah, hey, it's, it's good to have a relationship with Bartel, man. man. It, 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 it gets your night right. Crave, Tiffany. I thought so. Tiffany. Tiffany. Some of them, it's like, okay, you can tell it's not a little hot, so you just can't, you just like, keep it oh. distant. Oh, Summer. It's off. It's off. Summer, yeah. Summer, 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 Summer,
She's been out here for a minute. I'm gonna that, take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Summer prayed Tiffany. Yeah, Summer was first. Because so okay. Summer had that little room thing, I gave her five grand, five thousand dollars. What? Let me get five grand. Not nah, because someone was there. Had a four point. Someone was there. <laughs> someone was there. Chinese Jamaican. That's Chinese. You got all that. All that investing. All that getting is for the Chinese people ain't investing that type of bread like that. You tripping, man? What's up, Dave? You doing that shit? Go. You got that. You got that. Arab money. Arab stuff. Everything. Yeah. Take it, baby. I have you. Take it, baby. I have you. What's up, Dave? Taking on fire. I'm a competitor. So listen, I'm a competitor. Let's do this. Let's get back to it, man. Welcome to the DJ Me Podcast, your boy DJ Me. I got a special guest in the building. That's my boy, Mo Breeze. What's good? What's good with you, man? Chilling, chilling. We out here. DJ Me Podcast, Trick Club Chucky the Brown. We here. Trick Club Chucky. We here. Now listen, I'm a very avid Strip Club Chucky. Yes, you are. You feel me? I'm a Strip Club. Matter of fact, I'm a Strip Club King. Oh, so, even better, strip club know. kings with the junkies. Yes, yeah, sir. So you know, it's, it's a great, it's a great collab over here. You know what I'm talking about? So let everybody know now what is strip club junkie. I mean, how do you become a strip club junkie? Because you know, maybe some people that's watching that want to become a strip club junkie. Shit, they, they, they be in the club a lot. Right, right. You know, right. they might want to support the brand. Support the brand, easy. It's easy to be a strip club. What do you do when you ain't doing nothing? Go to the strip club, right? right. When you need a drink. Five dollar drink during day shift. You want to have a little fun with your boys. Shit, you just happen to have a hard day. In Miami, it's pretty much the capital of strip clubs, right? So, what do we do the most part when we're bored? We go to the strip club. We don't go to the club. We don't do South Beach. We do strip clubs. So, to be a junkie is that's your your normal. What do you think junkies do on a normal? They gotta get their fix, right? right? Well, my fix is not being bored. And when I don't wanna be bored, where I wanna go, the strip club. I can meet people, talk to my friends, meet beautiful ladies, and get good drinks. And that just makes me a junkie. You, you just, it's just part of your, I wouldn't say every day, but I don't do it every day anymore. But it's just part of your lifestyle. And when something becomes a part of your lifestyle, you addicted to it, you a junkie, or that's a habit, right? Right. So that's what makes you a strip club junkie. Okay. I was there. I was there. <laughs> so, you know, you could have been like the average person just wanna visit a strip club, just want to, you know, go see the beautiful women, enjoy the vibes, whatever the case may be. So like anybody else, what made you want to turn this into a brand? Turn this into a well, I think the strip club or adult entertainment industry is being underserved. Let me tell you why it's being underserved. There's no, thank you, my guy. There's no, you got another one? <laughs> you only brought one, that's terrible. So for, for the strip club, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring means to that environment. Number one, we're trying to change the outlook. Most people have the sense that a strip club is a negative place to be at. And it's not. It's negative if you make it negative. If you are a negative person, you come to a strip club with that type of vibe, that's what you make it. But it's not. Most people think if you're an adult entertainer as a stripper, you must be doing bad in life. I know a lot of strippers a lot of them are doctors, nurses, some of them have real careers, but they how else are they gonna make the money? It's not like your nine to five are always gonna pay your bills. So you shake a little ass, make a little money. Shake a little ass! Make a little money. Right? Then you have the dudes like me where I was I started off as a promoter, like I promoted clubs as as just a means to make some extra money. But once you get into that lifestyle, you realize there's so many different areas in that industry that you can make money. And I'm not gonna say make money, but you can actually make a mark. You have girls, being from Miami, you have girls that come in and they need rental cars. Why can't we provide that for them, being strip club junkies? Some of them don't know what it is to, 
what's the tip out at this club, and what's that. We want to provide that information and give it to them. We want to be able to help those girls out. And, and dudes, too. You want a bachelor party, and you don't know what you want to do, come to us. We'll, we'll make sure your bachelor party is there. We, we, as far as the management side goes, we, we're starting to do our own promoting. We um, are branching out into other businesses as far as the clubs exactly is concerned. We have a management company coming out, working on trying to get our own building and our own clubs too. We know how it is when a girl says she went to work and she danced a dude for an hour, he only put $60 on the floor. Don't worry, baby. We, we can tell you before you walk in that club, this is the mindset you need to have because this is how that club operates. But we can also say, hey, you know what? Go to so-and-so, you won't have fun, you won't make your money. So we want to be able to shine light in every aspect of the strip club world, but not in a negative way. We never want to down someone for what they do in a negative way because it's already there. People think you're a stripper, you sell pussy. Not all strippers sell pussy. People think because you go to the strip club, you ain't got shit going on in life. I know millionaires that go to the strip club every day. Because the strip club, the, okay, the gentleman's club. Okay, yeah, I will use the gentleman's club. It's really what what was created for uh, a relief for me. Mm -hmm. It was created to for men come to enjoy a fantasy before they get back to the regular life. It's a break from from regular life. Correct. That's what the strip club is, was created for. That's why you got women have fancy names they used to. You feel me? Yeah, they used to. Yeah, they used to. Yeah, Mrs. May, AK-47 now. So she <laughs> really like, it just was a fantasy, a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. That was a reality. But now, everything has changed. So you feel me? You got women walking outside looking like scribbles, static scribbles. I, I ain't gonna lie. I walk past a girl grab a booty. Cause I'm in a strip club, shit. You got ass in the strip club. I come to like, see, you fuck with this about it. It's fine. And she was a regular dance. She, she, I'm sorry, she was a regular, a regular customer. Mm -hmm. But she was dressed in just like what's her name, like a, like a, a stripper. Mm -hmm. Well, well, the issue. I ain't even gonna call it an issue. The fad is Such because being a adult entertainer is is something in our day and age. Like I used to have men go to decompress the stress. Right. They go to release it. Well, some women have started to trust like that because they want a man to release their stress with them. They try to mimic what a man wants. A man only goes to the up to release the stress and get something what I don't have at home. So a lot of those women come out and try to be that. Problem is, those women aren't strippers, so they really take on the, I look like one, and then they, it, it takes on a negative connotation with that. Because me meeting a regular girl in the club, and she dressing like a stripper, and nine times out of ten she wants money, or what can you do for me, or stuff like that. So it carries a negative connotation, even though she may look and dress like one. That's something you want to separate. Because being a stripper is just a fantasy. We're selling you the fantasy, and you paying for it, or you enjoying it. If someone from the streets want to come be like that, that's why I hate back in the days, women never were allowed in the club. Right. They, was, they, came to the they club. had to be escorted Escort. with a man. Right. Now, you could have 10 females go in the club and they get in a free bottle. Yes. And they not spending a dollar. Uh, so, I've seen it. Listen, I've seen the club. I'm, not, I'm a DJ and I've seen the crowd. You know right. Me? I've scanned the club plenty of nights and it's just women. Like, I swear, you might have probably 150 people in the club. 85 of those people are women. Okay, let me ask you this. The reason why is, before the pandemic, how many girls was doing pole tricks? Not really a lot. But 10 years ago, how many girls was doing pole tricks? A lot. All of them, right? Yeah, basically. The club has turned, the strip club has turned into a party club right that's right what, that's what I promote us now. It, it's mainly a show me mm -hmm. what you could do right so you want to pack the club because they only want to make their money the club itself wants to make money but you're not genuine to the gentleman's 
tradition, where, right. where it really came from. So when you have slow nights, it's because you alienated the men that you want to come and relax and vibe. And then when you got hype nights, you only got hype nights because it's a bunch of women in them. Mm -hmm. That's the women getting free till 11. At 10.55, you got 100 women outside. <laughs> so how is that the real strip club? You'll, you'll have a club full of 50 girls and only two of them know how to do poetry. But you, those two who actually put the energy and time to work and show you, I know how to be an adult entertainer. Mm -hmm. I know how to sell you the fantasy correctly. In some spots, they'll make bread. In other spots, they won't. Mm -hmm. Because right now, the common norm is just go walk outside butt naked and he'll go throw money on it. Girls now in the strip club turn around and look at you like $200 ain't nothing, even though they ain't even take off their clothes yet. Two hundred dollars and you ain't take off your clothes. Yeah, are you tripping? You listen. I'm not throwing ten dollars until I see a titty pop, take the whole top off. Like you, it's a dance, baby. Give me the fantasy that I'm looking for. And I agree with that. I've seen it and I watch it because I observe everything. Women in the strip club don't sell the fantasy no more. Like no. that's the reason for the whole entire thing. The whole entirety is the fantasy. It's right. The fantasy line. So even if the club is crowded, if I'm in, if, 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 a, if, a, if a scripper dancing for me, and she got my attention, if she locked and she doing what she's supposed to do, I don't know. Nigga, I'm in the club by myself. I don't it's just me nobody. It's, it's, it's just me and you. But how often do you feel like that now? I don't, I don't get dancing. See, I, why you don't get dancing? <laughs> because I know what they do now. Exactly. This is one before you go get a drink or talk to a homegirl. They come and as soon as she get the money, she's picking it up and trying to find it for the next dude. She sure, don't even say, yeah. I've had girls walk up to me, like the other day we was in a club. She just started dancing. I'm not one of those dudes yeah. where you just walk up and start dancing. I'm walk up on you. I don't know, I mean, I'm not rude like that anymore, but I'm... Like everybody, my peoples know, they be quick to be like, yo baby, you, he don't... My facial experience will tell you I'm not even... In, I'm not enjoying this interaction. See, being, being you know, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. Why are you in the script club when you ain't getting dances? I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not getting dances. I don't like your approach. <coughs> See, I'm glad you said that. Strip club junkie. What we we want to also we have girls for dance classes, for pole classes. Strip club etiquette. Something that we also want to tell girls like yo. You can't just walk up on every dude and start shaking your ass. Not every dude like that. I'm not in the mood. I come to relieve the stress and you just come throw your ass on me without even asking them my name. And they don't know that like, now I'm kind of forced to tell you stop or keep going. Like, it's, it's like now. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Now, so instead of, I've been a man where once I get uncomfortable, I just walk. I just walk out. Right. <laughs> And, it's and, my money and I'ma keep it in my pocket. You ain't doing nothing but telling me to keep my money in my pocket. Man, I'll I'll turn my back. I'll I'll grab her by the waist and gently ease her away like, from me. I don't even I'll, touch her. I'll, I'll take three steps that way. I, I don't give a damn. I don't even touch her. That's my boy. I'd be like, yo, listen, mm -hmm. you good, you good. Don't dance me. I don't like your approach. It ain't the fact that I ain't coming here not wanting to throw money. The, it's your job to make me want to give it to you. That that would be the, the dancers. Thought process. Oh, he ain't trying to spend no money. He just want to come sit around. Because sometimes I, I, I think about it too. But also, I sit and I watch. I watch how the girls interact with the customers. They don't. They sit around. They, they'll still sit and pile up together on the on the couch, mm -hmm. on their phones, or talk to each other. And there's a bunch of dudes standing behind them, just looking around like, like, like it's a high school dance. I don't have a problem with a girl talking to me. If we vibing like that, I'll give you some money. Being who I am nowadays, I can't pull out $20 and get one girl because I know two, three more girls going to come and like, how you tilt on ain't tilt me. Mm -hmm. But I do go, you know, listen, I'm dancing her and y'all, that's just who I'm dancing. Get over that shit, hey. But it is the next time, like tomorrow, next week, <laughs> next week. <laughs> not, not I got you next time. Got but, but for me, for me I, I got a vibe with you. I got to feel that energy and that vibe. I'm here to dance somebody. Somebody going to get it. But you got to give me that vibe. And I know most men, a lot of men are like that. We all like that. 
We, we come in the strip club to look at ass and titties. We know we got to pay for it. We know we got to throw some money. The difference is, are you that girl like, I'm throwing it on, or I'm just going to keep it moving? The same way how them girls be sitting down, though, like how you said, they just sit down there with a group of men. What do you think they're doing at the group of men? They look at which one going to throw the money. They're trying to find those signs of who got money. Problem is, instead of you asking yourself who got money, you should go ask yourself, I'm a, what can I do to make him throw money on me? It ain't hard. It ain't hard. Come and talk. Hey, how you doing? How was your day? Little stupid stuff like that. It might, even if he ain't even got no real money on him, he's still going to go in his pocket and pull out whatever he got. Because the first thing he'll say is, she made me feel better. Yeah. She made my day a little bit better. She made me smile. She joked with me. She paid attention to what I had to say. Like, most men who order strip clubs ain't happily married. I'm, I, I'm divorced, and I was married to a stripper. Well, how was that? Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't cracked up like it was supposed to be, but it was, it was, it was, you know what? When I got with my ex-wife, she had just transitioned from a stripper to a bartender. <clears throat> okay. And even then, I was like, you know you're going to get your ass out of this club. Because we got something serious going on. Yeah, you need some bread and you got to do what you do to make your money. And, you know, me and you, we came around each other's life doing what we was doing. But you my woman, you, you step to the side. We won't, let's get you right and let's move you on. Simply because if I take you serious, what I look like, you showing your pussy to everybody in their mom. I don't give a fuck what they did. They saw it before. They ain't going to see it no more. That's just me as a man. Right? But I, I was married to one. And my one know what's up. When I we, we go to the club together. I got a question for you, Clay. I don't you don't gotta answer that if you don't want to, but what, would you say that, that is the reason why that's your ex wife now? No. Partially no, contributed no, to it. No, 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 nothing you know about the strip okay. club has anything to do with me and my ex wife. Got you. You know what I'm saying? That's the great thing about it. If you people would say, Are oh, you married to a stripper? Listen, we had, when we was in love with each other, it was great. No one can, you know, we just had our own things where we wanted. Life took us two separate directions and we were just grown enough about it to say, you ain't going to be a part of what I got going on and I can't have you around neither. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And and even though we were, we're not together, that's still a close friend of mine. Right. You get what I'm saying? And See, that's the, that's the grown part there. And then, not even that, as a man, I set my woman up so she don't ever have to go back, regardless if I'm in her life or not. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She ain't go back since me and her. And if she ever said she was going back, it'd be me like, don't play with me. Because now, remember, my name's attached to you, regardless if we together or not. Mm -hmm. So... Stop trying. <laughs> I'm a listen. I'm a man. I'm a Jamaican man at that. Me too. But listen, so you yeah. might need my touch for that pussy. Well, I got this. Yeah. No, no. Use my wife. Don't degrade yourself and go back to the same thing. We just but see, but see, I feel what you said. I feel you to a certain extent, but sometimes you gotta move on. I moved on, but I also you can't have hold on, hold on. Okay. I've also elevated you. Right, but that's so but so. Still, where did you go the, wrong? Where you had to go back? But the past is the past, though. So you can't say you can't you can't you can't call claim to the past no more because there's no longer you, you're no longer in, 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 in possession of that. Right, but still, but what you what, where, you, what you done for someone, you can no longer. I look at it as if you needed help or if you were having problems, even though we're not together. You still talk be there. To. Because right. I'm always going to say, okay, you know what? You're going through so-and-so. Let me see how I can help you to keep you on track. In her situation. I, I, you get it? I, I, so, I completely get Now, you. if it was someone else, send that bitch back where she came from. I don't give a fuck. But, uh, I, get, I get it. You know, it's the attachment. The attachment, right. That's what the attachment. That's right. it. If it wasn't for the attachment, I, I technically yeah, don't give a fuck now. But it's like you gotta. But you're keeping that attachment alive, though. You know that, right? Yeah. 
And it's it's a pride thing. It is. It's, it's a pride thing. I'm telling you, it's a pride thing. Very much. Very much. Because I'm one of those. Listen, as a man, she was a stripper. We've elevated on. And I'm not saying being a stripper means you're elevated. Or not. I'm just saying for her particular. Mm. Her being a stripper was cool and all, but it was a rebounding circle for her. Right? So we moved out the circle. You know, when you have, most strippers have other dreams and goals. You can't be a stripper forever. Of course. Stripper ain't supposed in a permanent job. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be an answer to me. Like, that's right. supposed to be for, like. And I took what your means. Mm -hmm. And obviously your ends that you don't ain't helping you to get to your means. So I took that out and replaced it with something else. So now you get into where you want to be. So if you go back to that, it's like, are you Choice. really working to, like, I have to sit back and, for me, like, yo, are you really working to get to where you say you want to be? Or are you just going to be doing this? But you know, sometimes, even though you, you say you want to be here, like, I, I say I want to be the biggest DJ in the world. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that, you know I work every day, six days a week. It doesn't mean that I'm doing everything I should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm still working towards it. I'm still going. But, but, but here's the thing. Are you digressing? No. Okay, that's my issue. I don't want you to digress. But it's no, it's no, it's no longer your responsibility. It's not my responsibility. And it ain't. It ain't. Just don't digress to the bottom. That's it. But what if? Then I try to help you out. It's not. I am but dad. why? Cause <laughs> that's just. I'm a loving, caring person. Like, that. like if you in my life, I fuck with you. Like, yeah, that. that's just I me. Totally I get it. Now, would I go? Would I overextend myself? No. Right. Cause we all help people. Right. I have a limit to my help. That's what I, I'll help uh, to my that. limit. To my limit. Now my limit is very small. <laughs> But at least I let you know you got a limit, but it's very right. short. Don't ever let me have to use it. I love, I feel like with my ex fiance, I feel like people wanted me to hate her. Like, nah. Nah, it's, it's, it's never gonna be that because I loved her too much. Like, so it's like it's, I could never get to the point where I hate her. Nah, it's just like I can't fuck with her. Like, I can't fuck with her no more. Like, because I know where there it you leads. You know where it leads. You know yeah, where it, it'll, it'll never get you. No, I know for sure that anything happens now is never my responsibility. So I don't intend. So you feel me? I don't care. It's Anything that happens now, I don't even care because you're not you're not supposed to tell me. Right. But if you're in a strip club at your age, going through what you've been through, the first thing I'm gonna say is, did I not set you up the right way so you can continue doing what you were doing? Listen, That's where my issue comes in. I've seen it though, I, because sometimes it, it, even though you may have set them up, doesn't mean they continue with that path. But that's why she my ex-wife because she ain't stupid. My parents ain't been together for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I didn't just marry a fool. You know what I'm saying? I put a woman who was, okay, I see what you're doing and you're grinding. You're just missing a couple things. Let me put those couple things in you and then help you keep grinding. So now for me, on her personally, it's like, you're not grinding no more if you're going backwards or digressing. They kind of be rough. I don't get how rough the economy is. You just gotta do what you gotta do. I, you you make are, it sound you like are you a business matter. owner, right? Yes. So you know how rough it is for yes. a business owner. But I also know how rough it is to be a nine to five worker because I yes, got nine yes. issues. That's even, that's even hard. What? Ten times hard. It's a fixed income. And I'm still like, what? And you gotta be there on schedule time. Well, not my job. You were saying about your, about your, 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 your mother and dad been separated for a while. Yeah, they ain't been together for like over 20 years. My old boy still, you know, I mean, he ain't going to overextend himself, but he's going to make sure she don't go through no. He bought, he bought a, a piece of property. He's going to make sure she could be all right for the rest of her life. You remember the end? That was 15 years after they separated. After the separation. Yeah. To be honest, and I was for this way too. As long as I. If I ever loved you, you know, I'm always gonna love you. So like that part, that, that connection, gonna always be there some way, somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's that's some different thing where you feel me. You make sure you're setting up, even though after what we have is gone, because I see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids, kids, you know? you are, right, right, right. So grandkids, kids, also. So it, it makes sense yeah. the 
if I'm gonna if I'm blow some money, I'm gonna put this into the family life. You feel me? Like for me, when I was married, and again, it was a stripper, so it's a lifestyle that we have to maintain. Right. Right. But we came together as a partner, understood each other. We understood exactly what we need to do, how we need to do it. People talk about don't do 50-50. Listen, when we did 50-50, my baby was in red bottoms all day long. Why? I ain't have to worry about some of the bills. Yeah, you just run up the 50-50 conversation. Oh, not, my God. Not it, but, wait, but we decided to do 50 <laughs> But you know what, though? There were times where she never had to pay nothing because I had it. But there were times where I had to say, babe, I'm trying to do X, Y, Z. Can you help me with so she I didn't mean, like to say I'm trying to do X, Y, Z, babe. You know I got my hat. Let's do it. My wife was in Jamaica for six months. Never needed nothing. I took care of the bills for her, all the bills for her there, and I took care of all my bills and everything here. And I was still out every night. During a pandemic at that. That's a good time. Great time. You get what I'm saying? So, it, even though we was 50 50 for them that eight months, what was it 50 50? You get what I'm saying? But that was because I was able to save money when we was together. And when she was like, oh, babe, I need, well, that's my wife. And I know when I need something, she going to give it to me. So, so, since we're on this topic, and you as a married man, I'm not married. You ain't married? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought she was married. Oh, okay. Mr. Trying to get married in the future. But you, you already said, though. I'm married. Yeah, that's afraid to go outside. I thought, I thought she had an old lady, man. That man afraid to go outside. I, I'm, me personally, I'm looking for old lady. Find me somebody I can actually treat right. She can get right. I listen to this money. Yeah, yeah. No, I Everybody got trust issues. I, I believe everyone does. So. Everyone does. It's not not one time I ain't think my bitch fucking somebody else. I need to go fuck somebody else too. <laughs> Just to be easy. Like I'm dead ass serious. Like ain't never been a time. I, I Like I text my bitch and my bitch don't text me back within like 10 minutes. Who the fuck you talking to that you can't text me back? And I know you. Every you human go to phone in your hand. With your phone in your hand, I see you post and all sorts of shit. Yeah, that's been, everybody got trust issues. Name one person who don't and you a liar. Yeah, you <laughs> Bitch, you ain't got no trust issues because all your bartenders don't trust you in there. Good enough who I am. Oh, I know you I, I trust you gonna be a hoe. <laughs> because I don't trust myself. Exactly. You know who they come with? But that, that, the you trust is that is like you stop looking for that relationship. You just realize that I can have a relationship with my family, myself, and I can still do what I want to do with. But, if I want to. But, but, sometimes but, having that nice little thing for you is nice, though. I ain't gonna lie. Speaking from, it's speaking from a man who been married, it's different. I don't look at women that particular way. I look at a woman as how you gonna make me happy. Yes. Right? Because at the end of the day, I'm as a man, I automatically know what I gotta do. Exactly. You that's, ain't that's my tell point. me. That's how I feel. Like you gonna tell me what you I gotta do. Tell me what, what I gotta do. do. I know what I gotta do. I do it every day. I got bitches on my line. I can show you multiple text messages. I don't give a fuck. But every day I miss you. I fuck with you. You take care of me. It's just expensive, bro. But when I need something, hey, I need that. They gonna come through. So I know how it is as a man to take care of my household. I had a bitch text my phone the other day talking about I don't pay her bills. The first thing I said was, you don't live in my house. Mm -hmm. Why am I paying your bills in my own bills? Bitch, you might as well live here and keep your here. money in your pocket. I'm already paying all the bills here. As a man, it's about my household. My domain. My domain. So I want you to come here. You know, in the Bible it says a man should leave his parents and go out and find a wife. Not a woman leaving right. her parents and go out and find a man. Right. I take you and also, into my house. And it also say that that that, a, that a, um, God prepares a woman for a man, not not, not the other way around. around. And see, that was a lot of that, that shit switched up too. Like, oh, God prepared me for a man. No, I mean, like, what did I just say? What? Right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women try to switch it up and make it seem like it's the other way around. No, 
they have they have to do that work. They have to be helpmates for, for us. Right, that's what I'm I saying. But, but it's the, so it's so hard to find that nowadays with the society we live in. And I feel like I well, know. well, here Maybe here's the issue. I have a woman who who's talked to me, or I used to talk to. Her. Bitch gets some good ass head. And they go like, baby, you know who you is? Great <laughs> fucking head. Top out to her. Top out to her. Top one. Top top. Top one. But top one. every time she hit me and she hit me with the oh we should be together, she tried to wear a pass in a relationship. I'm a grown ass fucking man. Once I feel like you putting on the pants, I got to do. Yeah. Sit your ass down. And it ain't even I'm not even saying that and I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just saying as a man, there's just certain things I require and there's certain things how certain way how it goes. Right? I still believe, I still personally believe in roles. It, exactly. It has to be that. I can't play a woman's role. I cannot. I don't want to. I don't want to. But you have women that want to play a man's role. I don't role. want to be the motherfucking woman, though. No, like, hell And you no. want to roast, oh, baby, I'll take care because of you. Take one, care of me. For, for one, they have a heavy load. Oh, like, right. Like, we're not built the same. Like, nigga, they, they, I ain't built to stand on the raise no kids. <laughs> Nope. I mean, I'm better to go to work and cut back and fuck you, you make sure them kids are good and go back, back to work. Yeah. I'm yeah. not built to stay home with them kids with you. So if you tell me, baby, if we had kids, I gotta stay home, you ever, I ain't gonna have no argument. But if you tell me we got kids and I gotta stay home, I'm gonna look at you for what? See, they say men are, are nurturers too. Where? <laughs> We're protectors and providers. We're not nurturers. They say men are nurturers. I want know. a woman to nurture me. I don't want to nurture her. What I'm nurturing you for? They say we're well, men to plan dates and you know. Yeah, I'm a plan dates, baby. I ain't get that pussy in a while. Let me go ahead and you know, eat, eat, eat. Put you in some nice red bottle, nice dress. See, and you, you do the whole thing. I, if, if I gotta do all that though, again, was married. My wife got all that. But so, you, so you're doing that with just this this the uh, vibe that you that you vibing with. You vibe if you with, okay. So I ain't doing that for no lady I'm vibing with. That's a different story. Because at the end of the day, I can't give you a husband to vibe. Right, right, I, right, I can't. I can't. I don't. Right, listen. I, 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 the other day, I brought a little. I brought a little butt butt. A little little um. <laughs> Sebastian Telfair bag for the one fifty. And she posted it too. Shout out to you, baby. You know who you is. Mm-hmm. Right? She posted it, right? Another little bubba hit me. Oh, baby, you gonna buy me something? Now, this is not a bitch. I didn't spend thousands. We don't went on trips together and all that. And I was like, I gotta buy you something for you to just text my phone. But the other little bubba who I just on the humbug every day, hey baby, how you doing? Like, like for me it's it's the vibe. Like, I just don't do it for everybody. I can't do it for everybody. If I know we have something and it can proceed the more, yeah. I'm gonna treat you right. On my own. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me to spend no money. Don't tell me to buy this. Don't tell me you need something. Just say what you're going through. Let me see it. And let me say, okay, let me help her out because I'm who she fucking with. And I don't want her going to run the next nigga. But if I know you're gonna run the next nigga, I ain't gonna do it, period. A lot of women don't realize when we know you got options, just like how we got options, you ain't shit. And my options ain't even as good as you. But because you got options, I ain't fucking. And my only options is pussy. You meet a girl, oh, you got money, yeah, I got money. Okay, let me, I'll give you some pussy for some money. That's the only options I got. <laughs> like, y'all make it sound like a nigga gonna walk outside and bitches throwing themselves. Bitches only throw themselves at you when they know you got money. <laughs> that's, that's life. You get what I'm saying? That's fucking life. So, I got emotion. 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 I was watching a video today and it said that shit. The same thing. It said, dog, if a man has some money, all the barriers and roadblocks that she's that a woman sets up for a man, it's obsolete. Mm-hmm. It doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, you got money, so she means she won't much. Man, listen, I know she ugly ass, fugly ass niggas because they make a couple bands. They throw a little and willing to spend it. I'm willing to 
Keyword, they're willing to spend. I ain't willing to spend shit. I need to see why I'm spending on a businessman. It's an investment. It's an Every investment. woman you talk to in life is an investment. Yeah, it's an investment. I'm investing my time and energy. Two things I can't get back ever. Time and energy. If I give you my time and energy, time is priceless. And energy, damn near, as much as people say energy is unlimited, it's not. It's not. And I got to give you all that. And, I, and you're giving me that back, but then you expect me to pay you extra for giving you? What makes you think my shit don't cost neither? See, I, all I always say, I, I, I think that women think, as we think about money, how we value, value, value our money, if, we, if they think the same way as they pussy, they will understand how we value our money. See, but all of us, when, when, when was pussy valuable outside of being a wife? When did it start becoming you have to pay for? See, when you have a wife, you pay to make sure your wife stays home and does everything for you, right? Now, but now, but now the oldest shit ever. yeah, but we yeah, still, but you still, but okay, but but outside of that, outside of that, when did pussy become become? When did pussy become? You got to throw a thousand dollars for me to fuck you. Oh, when square ass motherfuckers that made a bunch of money started giving it. That's but the problem crazy. is, those same square ass <laughs> niggas go broke two days later. Can't do the pussy. Another square chick come around and do me. Alright, so when I know when I know a whole fuck square ass niggas like that, I don't wanna fuck with that. Never get out of here. It's ninety. I've given about ninety two percent of the women out here, and ninety two percent of the men out here are just like that. Yeah. They only use they they using money. They don't have no real personality. They're not authentic. They're not human beings. Everything is we just go on social media. We want to do what other people do. We want to be what rappers do. But how many of us could make a fucking fifty thousand dollars just <laughs> right now? Yeah. Well, you, you a DJ, <laughs> but but. <laughs> I gotta put in some couple of hours, a business plan, a couple of phone calls, a couple of clients, and then boom, maybe I, I have to put in the work. Though. Right, right. That's what what they're used to the man just coming there, regardless of what the work is, and spending it. I used to be that back in the day, five thousand yeah, 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 dollars. But where did it get me? What did I make from it? Experience. What experience? This <laughs> is the same experience I got for a hundred dollars. Maybe the same awesome. hundred dollars I threw on a bitch and she sucked me crazy. To the bitch I threw five thousand and I, I, she act like she didn't even know but, the next thing. Like Come on. That's not how you dealing with different women. That's what I'm saying. All women. That's what I'm saying. If all women was that the same, we could go to strip club and see beautiful women. We could just go to the corner store or whatever, Publix. If all women was exactly the same, we could just go to anywhere they're working at. But if you're in a strip club, it's the women the fantasy. I'm talking about even on the regular streets now. That's what it is. Bitches selling fantasy like they work in the strip club now. Yeah, they do. It's, it's, it's no longer a division of the two. It's it's no somebody even it's said that there's even a website, bro, where they, where they started <laughs> you making what? people subscribe to see the, the video. Fuck an OnlyFans. Fuck an OnlyFans. That's an expensive porn hub. That's right? when it took over. Everybody started getting their shit off. Okay, so a point in time was COVID then. Before COVID. It was COVID. Before COVID, man. It was killing. It was coming before COVID because you had a new generation coming in. Speaking from my my experience, I had a new generation coming in. Like, personally, me, I am a strip club junkie. One of the original strip club junkies. Yeah. It was just a different generation. Remember right. all the King of Diamonds, Monday Fight Nights. Uh, I ain't gonna, the, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna go forget Coco's though, because we gotta go back. Well, King of Diamonds was, was, the, was, the, was the pinnacle. Coco's was the, yeah. was the look. Man, listen, Coco's was the pinnacle of Miami. That was the local. If you was really from Miami, Coco's was like, if you ain't experienced Coco's in this prime, you don't know what we talking yeah, about. Take one. But Scarface is one of the original But I'm saying, I'm as far take as on the, on the national level, it was KOG. They one. had Fight Night Monday. They had Tip Drew working in there. All the rappers used to go there. I was a Coco's nigga. Listen, I had a cousin come from England back in 2008, right? I took him to Coco's. Right? And we had a picture of Scarface. Ooh. This him. Out of the 
Goodness. And Coco, 2008. Even to this day, he's still, yo, next time I come back to Miami, son, I want the sky face, son. <laughs> like, that, that, that's what it, that, but you know what, though? He had a great time back then. If I took him to the club, now the first thing he said was, yo, get me out of here. I want to be here. You know, that, drink was, that drink was made because the girl, but the girl cat was bored as fuck on this ship and Coco's. Mm -hmm. We were dead as fuck. This was one time when nigga, I was on the uh, day shift at Coco's and nobody was there. Nobody. We just got, a, we just got outside playing spade at the front door. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? Crazy shit, man. We outside playing spade. Yeah, man. So, Cat, Cat she was a bartender and she made up a drink. Y'all yeah, try this out. Man, one of the biggest um, security we had. Within 15 minutes, this dude was laid out. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So shit, yeah, but listen. From then, that shit spread to the niggas on the port. The port niggas came and started coming on lunch on lunch break, and that would really popped off Coco's day shift. My dog Duke was the manager. Oh, listen, you should need to sell the scar faces. Bro, listen. The picture used to sell. Sell like yeah, bro. I so, know. Was, it was like it was cheap. Too. It was like fifteen. Yeah, it was cheap. You have a challenge, nigga. Who could finish one? Nobody. 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 He called a cab and said, "Pick it up." You know, back then when the Uber. Shout out, big dude. Shout out, big dude. Graduation, yo, Vikings, so much. Big dude on the scrizzle. I'm a dog, man. I got some stories about me. Man, Coco put put a lot of a lot of. That was a real, that was a real nigga club. Let's be honest, that's a real nigga club. It was a lot of I've had some good and some bads in Coco. It was a lot of networking too, though, because like some people that you know I've never met that was little outside the city. You would never meet them. You would never meet them until you had Coco. Maybe they Coco's. Coco's was a good uh, networking. A lot, a lot of strip clubs is a good networking. Spot. I do a lot of my most of my networking, business networking in strip clubs. That's another thing where people don't realize, like, mm -hmm. every walk of life you are in a strip club. It ain't like you going to a museum, you only dealing with people that want to go to museums. Mm -hmm. No, you're dealing with the nerds, you're dealing with the high rollers, the, the ballers, the who ain't got shit, trying to make shit of themselves, who just trying to figure it out. You're dealing with all walks of life in a strip club. So why do people have a negative connotation for it? I think it's different regionally, too. I, like I've been to Oregon, they strip clubs ain't nothing like those strip clubs down here, bro. Right. It ain't no. I it's checked a plan. Couple weeks ago, I was in Pensacola, right? Yeah. Pensacola, I tell a little mommy, but but yo, you know, I'm from Miami. Oh really? Cool, cool. We talking. She trying to sell me the pussy for a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's nice, but. Fuck the selling of the pussy part. Just interact with a dude. The bitch came. You want some weed? You want me to get you a drink? You want me to, man, back in the days at the office, I used to have holes. As soon as I walk in the door, they'll go buy the little $75 bottle. Because they knew if they bought me the $75 bottle, I'm going to throw two three bees. You just saved me from buying a bottle and arguing and all that. Yeah. Look what? I'm going to throw that. that. That's what it, it was. It was maybe about, you feel me, like, Back then, the, the dancers had customers. They had clients, whatever the case was. You feel me? What else? They had a text nigga, hey, I'm at work today. So it's not a slow night for them. They're not sitting around, just they're hanging around. Back in the days, dancers, you should actually talk to people, yeah. get your number, and they should text you, baby, you good today, you all right? Yeah. I'm just making sure you good. But it's, it's, it's now they don't want to, they don't, yeah. The actual hustle. Right. Now it's, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't talk to people. What? The girl told me the other day, I don't talk to people. So maybe you could be broke. But also it goes to the mindset when they say they don't talk to people, you ain't never gonna get a husband. Yeah. Then the same one's gonna get on IG. Why niggas don't want me or can't talk to me or all niggas want is my pussy? Because that's all you offer and present. Yeah. But see, I realize that in, in, in that fantasy world, it's also, it create hustlers. So you have to be some kind of hustler now. But shit in this day and age, because niggas don't just spend money how they used to. You know what I'm saying? When you, you, used, to, you used to see a pretty girl, you, you know, 
you, hey, come on, come check me out. Now, everybody don't look fucking pretty. Everybody look the same. So it's kind of like, okay. Ass shots, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Got the light bulb done. So niggas, niggas waiting around until shit. So shit, come holler at them. If you don't come holler at me, then shit, shit. We, we just in here. We just in here. It's your place to work, not mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You paid to be here, I didn't. But look, I did. Even if I did, I'm getting my money. Right, I'm getting my money's worth. I'm going to get my money's worth, man. A couple little drinks, yeah. smoke a little weed, have a little fun with my dogs. Yeah. And if a baby come, a baby come. And the sad part is, it's so much of them now where you don't have to be like, yeah, I'm waiting on that one girl. Nah, I ain't waiting on you, bitch. It's 20 more, you coming out the door. 20 more. I'm just mad this club only got 20 of y'all, and I don't like none of y'all. That's it. Girls be, listen, I know girls that sit at a club for years and be mad they ain't making no money. Why you not at another club? You at the same club over and over and over. Make Go somewhere else, you'll make, make money elsewhere. And come back in six months and see what you do. Some, some females, it, it's, it's the club might be the problem with them. It might be them. It might be both. It, like, that's how it be them. Some of them don't need to be dancing. Let's, let's talk about no, it. Let's speak the truth. Let's speak the truth. Let's be fuck on that. Speak the truth. Let's speak the truth. Some of y'all don't need to be dancing. Some of them are very lacking their skill sets in other ways than dancing. Listen, I seen a bad body bitch get money out of me just because she talked to me right. Hey, no bullshit. A good conversation will take me further than a bad bitch. What? Oh, you don't fuck about how you look, baby. Listen, if you if you just get my mind going, then, hold on, wait, what you talking what about? You, oh, I like this kind of book. Let's make it real quick. I'm going to you now, like, yeah. Right, but again, some of them don't have, even the bad bitches, they don't have Listen, no personality. One of my dogs, she, she an old, older stripper. She ain't the best skin, the best body, but she'll tell you, she got the best mouthpiece in the thing, in this motherfucker. I talk about this something big. She mean nigga. She she done told a dog out of motherfucker, bro. Easily. And I've seen it. True. Easily. I've seen it nigga. Nobody in the club. It's probably one or two niggas. And she making them. And she making it great. Easily. I, and I and I seen I seen nights with niggas some of the baddest blue working. They ain't making nothing. But she mind just getting money, money, money. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, because she know how to talk to people. She not make she not make you feel like it is all about you right now. Easily. They're not playing with it. And the thing about it is, they, I'm sorry. The thing about it is, they know how to get it out. Mm-hmm. Because they know what you're looking for. They know how to give you fantasy, or they know how to help you decompress. Facts. One of the two. And then one day she, she, she gave me a little massage. So I, I see that's one of the, that's, that's a whole thing, decompression. Maybe you think of close their eyes. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Like this. <laughs> I ain't even danced for one week, but she on the corner of the nigga ear. Tell the nigga, well, blowing in his ear. Whatever the case you she got to do to make the nigga feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Spe- you know, that's not something that everybody has. Right? Mm-hmm. And realistically, the strip club ain't meant for you to come there to get back massages. At least the one that we go to at this day and age. It ain't, it ain't set up for you to come there. Some ones, yes. Some ones are, it's different strip club, different things. It's like the club we was talking about earlier where mm-hmm. a month they'll come, get your, get your money up real quick and be like, yo, you gotta go uh, move over here. Let's go on over here for me real quick. I've you just spent 10, 15 bands in, in a matter of 20, you know, 20, 30 minutes. They gonna get you up out of there real quick. Like they don't care about you, for me? So yeah. Yeah, that club is not set up for you to be there with a girl blowing in your ear. See, I don't feel like, like that's what it's for. What, what it, they just done in recent the recent weeks, they added that though. What you mean they added what? That element. The, the massages? Mm-hmm. There's one girl, just but. Oh, they got massage girl. Okay, yeah, yeah but that's fine. Right. I, I, they, I remember they used to have that. Oh, we they have girls, like, even now, other clubs they got that, that we yeah. partake in, they do have a massage yeah. girl. Yeah, you know, no, it's, 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 because. That element, though, it, it does something for a man. You, you know that. Okay. Uh, a female touch is... But, but let me tell you something. Absolutely. Do you want a female touch from a woman you interact with or from a stranger that says you want a massage? True. I, so that's why a lot of them lose that. Because regardless, 
if I'm talking to you, I want you to touch me because you're selling my fantasy or you're giving me what I want. Right. I've been in the club back in the, the real nigga times. You're going to call it real nigga times. <laughs> right? Where a girl will see you, you look stressed. And then they just like, do you mind if I massage your back? Yes, baby, please massage my back so I can give you this little $50 for this little massage. Even though you might not even be the best massage version of masseuse or whatever. It's just a, a physical touch. The fact that you said, damn, he looks ten. That means you're watching you my you body. You're paying attention. You're, paying attention. You're, attention. you're giving me something I don't have. Mm -hmm. That's why I will compensate you for what you're doing. Women want to be compensated. In this, a lot of the women who are in the adult entertainment area, Want to be compensated just to be? I look good. I look good. I'm here. I'm here. You, you I'm here. here. You should just because I'm mean. Yeah. That's even worse. You, you, and I don't even know you. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I don't give a fuck about you. And I've heard that come out of, out of a lot of people's mouth that I'm pretty like I suppose I'm just supposed to just give me money. Yeah. Money ain't attracted to prettiness. Money attracted to people who go get that shit. That's it. You can be pretty and, and be, I'm a pretty, give me money. I right, bitch. There's pretty bums on the street, too. There's a lot of them. It ain't no different. There's a lot of pretty bums. What bums makes you better than the next one? But then when the ugly girl who got talk game come and holler at you, and then she see, oh, you like that ugly thing? Yeah. yeah. The ugly thing, though, I, that made me feel like I'm mad. She <laughs> made me feel good. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, it, it, it'll be something like what they say. The most beautiful girl we have in the ugliest ugliest ugly experience. Yeah, you know, it really do be like that. Yeah, like, definitely do. Yeah, yeah, you know, me personally, I done seen it where it be like, dang, she's so fine. Like, man, that's the finest girl I done seen probably in the last, I don't know how long it's been since I seen a girl that's like, finally getting to know the chick, finally like, actually interacting with her one on one after seeing her being amazed. You be like, whoa. That was not <laughs> what I was true. really recently talking to a bitch that every time she talked to me, she had to remind me she was a bad bitch. You know how annoying that is? That's annoying too. Because bitch, you act like you're the only bad bitch I'm fucking. <laughs> I don't mean it like wait, wait. You act like you're the only bad bitch I'm out here. You just it, stop. He's a wonderful baby. Like, <laughs> One of the many, like just stop. Yo, I was in the like, I want to oh. fuck with you, but you make me not want to fuck with you. Because you keep telling me what you are. I don't give a fuck what you are. I put your value in my life. Okay, so with that, right? Value. It's what I value as. Okay. As a man, we put the value in the women we deal with. So a lot of men overvalue women. That's the fact. The reason we hope they overvalue women is because their mama told them to. Mm -hmm. And I had this conversation with somebody recently about um, the black culture and the black mindset as black men. Why do black men, why are we at the bottom of the totem pole? The reason we in the bottom of the totem pole is because number one, we don't have real men teaching us anything. And when I say teaching us, you don't teach me about credit. You don't teach me about what I need to, as far as what I'm going to do when I get kids, how to use credit, how to use money. You don't teach me finances. You don't teach me nothing. Then you fall on a woman to teach you. I was raised by a single grandmother and a single mother, literally together. I'm still a grown-ass man. I had to learn. Where I'm at now, I would have been 10, maybe 15 years ago faster if I had a man show me if I had a daddy or a father figure I didn't but I still had to figure it out because I knew what they taught me wasn't enough that's the issue we single mothers are raising men not realizing you're raising men to be another single mother too that's all you raising men to be so when a man act like a pussy where the fuck you think he learned it from when a man don't have certain things entitled him, when he goes and acts a certain way, it's not because he's not a man. What did he learn to be? When did he learn to be a man? Few intentions. Who taught him how to be a man? Other men have to teach other boys how to be men. 
Women can't teach boys how to be men. It's, it's, so much it's, do for it's only so much you can do. And the thing about it is a lot of these women think, oh, I raised my, my son, all my children, but my, who fought that in? Who told you to go sleep with that man and you knew that man wasn't going to do that? Now, there's sometimes there's women that they, you know, you got a fucked up dude. Clean it up. Clean it up. You got a Oh, it's facts, right? Like, let's be real. Like, let's, let's be real. Like, I'm just, I'm just, and, I, and I hate the fact that people don't speak the facts that were like, bro, accountability has to come into place some, and somehow. Like, nigga, okay, the nigga didn't leave for no reason. The nigga did not just say fuck you and your kids for no reason, whoa. Well, I yes. know, but it played both parts though. Right. Uh, let me it get on the men. Though. Hold on, let me get on the men. Though. Listen, sometimes a nigga can't communicate with his women, bro. Like, okay, first, which I, they say communication is key, and oh, they want to communicate, but they don't listen to what you say. They, they, they listen to respond to, to some. They listen to respond, not to comprehend. So when I'm trying to talk to you, and you're talking over me, I don't want to talk to you no more. Right. I instantly shut down. Me too. And I tell a woman, yo, I'm shutting down on you. I'm going fuck. Oh, don't shut down on me, but I'm trying to talk to you. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You're not comprehending what I got to say. I have to sit here and listen to you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And nothing you said make logic to me. But I listened and I understood. Right? But now let me tell you where I'm coming from. And you refuse to hear where I'm coming from. So I refuse to give a fuck about you going forward. That's communication skill. That, that's, 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 that'd be the number one thing that really do. And then the issue is, a lot of these men are learning their communication skills. The that the people ain't meeting. See, that's what I'm saying, but bro. Listen, I, I think that the way that men communicate and the way that women communicate is totally fucking different. But women don't understand that. Instead of we trying to come to find a way, a, a medium to, to the media. I get what you say, I agree with you. I'm gonna say this, there's four dudes in this room, you bring four girls in this room by themselves and they whole conversation and, and that, that I'm, just on that topic, it's gonna be the exact opposite. They gonna look at us like we the aliens and right. then they got all the sense. Course, so it's just, it's just one of the things, you know, it's like, uh, what is, what is it, like the dogs and the cats, man? Men, know, men, from, men from Venus, from, men from Mars, women from Venus. That's, that's the whole thing. Yeah, basically. basically, that's what we're from means. different planets type shit. But you know, we, 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 we here together to do this thing. Right. And we try to, we try to, to open, be, be more open to, and let women understand us. But I don't feel like they will ever. On some G shit, I don't really feel like a woman really, unless she was raised, Man, they kept it. They kept it one thousand with her. I know some girls that they, they got a lot of brothers and shit. They understand right, that because they, shit. They, they, they they've been around and right. they, not just they've been around. They, they observe shit. They watch. They, they communicate. They find out why your brothers doing this and doing that. So like. So, so yeah. So so a woman like that who who was raised, you know, mainly by her brothers or seeing men that was kept it kept it one hundred with her. She she knows the real. You feel me? You could you could you could communicate with her more than a woman who has it. A lot of women are, are raised on fairy tales to be princesses. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they ain't princesses. They don't know how to carry themselves <laughs> like they don't know most princesses do a whole lot of work behind the scenes. Most princesses take care of the household and the husband. Even though the husband is making the money or whatever, whatever. The household ain't working correctly without the glue. You the glue. Be the damn glue. I'm gonna say this. <sighs> it's a lot of. I'll read that one. Obviously, y'all see me. Y'all can see, but you know, I've uh, grown up. You know, my whole life, basically, you know, observing my surroundings, which have been down here in South Florida. I can say that there's a lot of generational. Um, damage to the people, you know, men and women just over the years for the last decade, you know, several decades, even, you know, hundreds of years we can even go back as far as, you know, and, and say that for real, you know. And then also you get that combined with people actually dealing with real traumatic experiences, whether it be in the household, at school, especially women. Unfortunately, they are preyed upon most, unfortunately. You know, being in a strip club, I try to, you know, not be 
a predator. Obviously, I'm a man. I try not to prey on weak people. I, I've never been one to try to prey on weak people, nothing like that. You know, but I've seen and heard stories of many women and men also getting, you know, they just being preyed upon basically in bad ways, you feel me? But obviously women growing up from youth, they go through it the most. They go through the, the, the harshest of things, you know, not to say that men don't go through terrible things too, but I, I've heard stories, you know, unfortunately there's some terrible things that happen with the ladies. So, you know, it all contributes to where we at in this day and age with all the, you know, just the trauma. And it's tough, as you know. We 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 in this room. We know we 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 good brothers. It's terrible things happening, man. But y'all make it sound like everybody else ain't going through trauma and trouble. That's the problem I had. Everybody, I got trauma. I got trauma too, bitch. What the fuck? Because listen, I was gonna say this. I was gonna say this like you rebuttal to that because I I completely I completely agree, but I also want to add this though, because even you. Do you remember a time when you were growing up and you fell on, you ride fast as fuck on your bike and something happened, you fell, you cried in front of your parents, they tell you stop crying, they boys don't cry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. All this stuff about all this oppression of, of our emotions from 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 you. That's you. That's, that's you. Right. 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 Again, we're, we're taught to suppress our emotions. Is we get that. The, to the, be the, the, the conversation I had with the chick the other day was why is black men always on the bottom of the totem pole? Black men, not white men, not Hispanic, not black women, black men are on the bottom because at the end of the day, we're not allowed to express ourselves and what we got going on. Right. Yeah, once we do it, once we come out, you, do think, that. you think some of them, some of them white men give a fuck about it for bitch say, I want $300 to fuck. You gonna say, man, fuck you, bye. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna fuck somebody for free. We were taught to suck it up, keep we, it moving. We was taught to, oh, okay, baby. We, again, we were taught by our what? Mothers. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying you fall short. Your mama only can get you so far in life. You fell short. I'm first gen generation American in my family, right? No one taught me how to build wealth. I had to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. No one taught me about credit, when you buy a car, when you get a crib. No one taught me nothing, right? But I had to figure it out. Now I know other counterparts are like me. They failed in life. I know niggas that ain't making past 18, 19, 20. I'm 36 years old. And they failed in life. What do you say about them? Can I add to that? of you saying you would have never talked that. Us being island descent. Mm -hmm. Remember our, not speaking for anybody else, especially island descent parents, they came there to survive. Me, please, first person, I wasn't raised by my dad. I was raised by his girlfriend. Island descent, there was, made to survive. My old girl was here to survive. Put food on the table, make sure everybody clothes and everything. Do you feel that it's not it's not really the, the father's fault or the mother's fault because especially I'm talking about island descents. Because we came they came here with nothing. They had to survive. That was a big part too. Let me let me tell you what another especially, issue. especially even in um in, even in America. But even part. then, you're on survival mode. What did you teach me to survive? Did you teach me how to thrive? If you're survival mode, you can't teach them how exactly. to Exactly. So, so me being the next generation, I have to find it. Not a lot of men. And I'm saying the word men, because the women seem to be doing just fine. Not a lot of men have that in them to get there. Me and you may say, damn, we, we struggled, we did this, and we went through this, and we did How many, for the two of us, there's eight others that didn't. And that's where a platform should be done, or some other thing should be open for them to know. But, and then that's society, because it's two versus eight. So society is on the eight. But... 
eight of them probably have probably have the silver spoon in their mouth. But where's we're not even talking about silver spoon. We just talking about ambition, ambition and actually to learn more to get more. That's what survival mode. So get no, no survival no. mode is not. That's not. That's not survival, survival mode. Survival, survival mode is do anything. What I gotta do is just to put food on the table, roof over my head. You can't, can't say that survival mode like that. You can't say that nowadays. You can't. Not, not, yeah, I, 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 like, I can't say that. Like, I can't say that. I can't say that. And you're not in survival mode. No you're not in survival mode. Bare minimum, but they they don't found a way to. But that's not survival hit. mode. That's not that's me getting out my my, my pre That's me getting out of what well, survival, survival mode. Still that survival mode is. I've been in survival mode, right? Remember, I was going eight months with no work, mm. living off my savings. I had to be in survival mode to pay my bills, but I wasn't progressing nowhere. See, you're talking about progress. You're progressing in your situation. You're not surviving. You're thriving. Because you're making something out of nothing. So you got that. Because I found something. But you had to find something. What about the ones I had who... I go through my survival mode. But what about the ones who ain't making out of survival mode? That's where we're at. That's where 80% of America is at. How do they get out of that mode? That's where... Teaching a man is the problem. A man needs to have that ambition to say, you know what, I'm just surviving now, but I want more. I'm going to push for more. Yeah, it may hurt me to do eight hours from one job and then go do another four hours at another job knowing I got kids and wife at home with kids and girls, but I got to do it because I want better. The problem is nowadays people don't want better. Men who have taught a certain level and they've only said this is your this is your stealing. That's it. That's it. And I I, 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 I agree with that. Damn. Because I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna put it into the DJ aspect of it. You got some DJs who who, who done enough just to get hired at the spot. Mm -hmm. And they only want to do enough Keep to stay out, there. To stay there. They're not gonna do no more, do no less. You feel me to progress their life as a a career as a DJ. Shit. No, I'm, I'm serious. It's not right. Right. You're right. You're That's right. the difference between the 20 and the 8. The 20 gonna survive because they're gonna do more regardless to get there. The other 80 said, I just made it. I survived. When you get content in survival mode, you think that's life. That's not life, uh -huh. my nigga. Could, uh -huh. you, could you feel the environment plays a part of, it, part of that? So the mentality is the first thing. Correct. It's not. It's the environment does, but it doesn't because if if you allow your environment to control who you are, you will never grow. You will never prosper. Prime example. Because if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm living in the beings where it's predominantly killing and all this other crazy shit going on in the city, whatever the case is, that's all I see. That's all I do every day, all day, all day, in day. You me? That's it. I will never see. What's up in Broward? Because that's all. That's all. I'm, 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 I'm in the beans all day. Because you're around it. You don't hear about it. You're around it. You're 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 on the same porch with them. But a person that wanted that won't more go 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 travel. It's still going to the city. city. It's still going to get. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to see them. As much as people be like you, you're going to see them. You're going to see them in Broward. You're going to see them in Palm Beach. You're going to see them traveling, just trying to find different places to be at, so you don't have to be there. Exactly. They want to grow. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. They've been taught to just stop where you at, be the best okay. at where you at, but where you at ain't even the best at anything. What's the best of poverty? Still poverty. Mm -hmm. So when you gonna get out of poverty? Just cause you're the man in poverty don't mean you're the man for real. You're not the man at all. You haven't done nothing to get out of that. A man's job is to set up his family and future. If you got money now, what you doing for money tomorrow? Oh, I got to get up and work. Damn, how many days you going to get up and work the rest of your life? Our job isn't to work every day for the rest of our lives. That's you feel different on that. I mean, my yeah, job ain't going to work. Well, you feel different on that. As a day, Everybody man. different. You know, because it's like, my old boy, he don't work his whole life. I just seen he work with his hands. He physical, you know, labor work. It's not no crazy labor work, but he gets paid well and he works hard. Um, before you even say, ask your old boy, does he look at his job as a job or does he look at something he enjoys? There's a big difference. 
He don't enjoy it. He don't enjoy it. He don't want to be doing it. But this is what I'm gonna say. This is my point of saying it though. He he would he would rather have a whole bunch of money and not and not do it. But I think he would still do it because it keeps him fit. Sometimes having a, like a, a process that you have to do every day, it keeps you going. It keeps a routine. Yeah. You call that enjoy. That it, no matter what you say, I hate my job. But I'm gonna get up every day and do it because that's me. But I guarantee that he's so skilled at a job that he does that if he <laughs> ventures out and try to find another job, yeah, yeah, it way more money won't him. Like he, he can find way more money, but he's comfortable in in his state. Right. He's comfortable in his mind in, in, in his mindset. Right. Right. Like you could go try to be yeah. like a, a, a like a real estate agent or something, but that's not him. So it ain't gonna be so he loves what he, he enjoyed. But or feel film. I walked away from my job that was paying everyone. Or feel film. I, I, I was making good money. That's one thing. You feel me? I walked away yeah. from it and said, nah, I'm good off. Walk away from some you know what I'm saying? Not because you might I like. didn't enjoy it, it was because it started to become a, an issue in my life. It started to take away from my oh. joy. Now, what I do now and all the other things I do now, I'm having fun. Bro. I don't have to travel four or five days a week. I don't have to get up at three o'clock to go to the airport in the morning. And I'm still making the same or even more money than before. I don't have to fight a customer for no money. Oh, no, so, 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 it's change your situation and so, make it more favorable for yourself. If you want so, to. Earl, Earl Brunga, this is a very, very valid point. And you mentioned failing. What is it? Failing? Failing. That is a big thing with, with anybody. But men, it does something to our ego and our pride. We fail at something. Me. The reason it does something to our ego is because we were told you should never fail. You gotta be a winner. Yeah, but when when you ever you have to fail in, in order to win. You gotta know somebody faster than you so you can work harder so you can actually win the race, right? I was gonna say this earlier too. It's a little luck involved in this lifestyle, man, and just life in general. But some people are born taller, so they make it to the NBA. Some people born Yeah, but I know a ton of people who can't play basketball at all. What that mean? You still gotta work to oh, it's it's, 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 You still have to put in the work. To right, right, right. You still have to put in the work. So right. LeBron James came in six. A little bit. It's, 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 it. Listen, you and me, as hard as we could have worked our whole life, bro, the chances of us making it to the NBA was slim to none, just based off of the height that we have. I understand that. To be through growth. But the chance it is for me to actually be a basketball trainer. Athletic trainer. You're talking about different types of But hold on, hold on. That's different though. That's what you're saying though. I don't know what you're saying, saying because you, you go, you go, you gonna find a way in. If you want to find a way in, but what he's saying is different. What you're saying, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Which is, which is, which is, you know, and those they can't do, coach. Right, right. But what he's saying, the, the natural abilities. Everybody's not born with the same natural abilities. Everybody, not, everybody's not born the same exact way. So, but, okay. It's like, in my eyes, I wasn't born a basketball player, right? Back in elementary school, they go, oh, you can shoot three. Now I couldn't shoot a three. three. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you hyped me up, back in, back in them days, I was, oh, yeah, jacking them up, making them and all that. But then I realized I'm not a basketball player. That's not my calling. That's not what I'm supposed to do. But you have a lot of why did some people why, feel like they got even a car? Right. Because you got some of your height, your your when, girl, had a mindset like that supposed to be the NBA. Mm -hmm. Why did okay. you feel that you that, that wasn't your call? Because I was realistic about life. Not everything is for everybody. Stop trying to make it you. Find what you are good at. Muggsy uh, was good at five six in the NBA. Because he had a dribble and da 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 back in the day. Look at all of these six foot guards, six foot, five foot nine quarterback. Quarterbacks are supposed to be six three, yeah. right? But because they said, you know what, I have arm talent and I can use my legs and do other things, they can do it. Some of them, that Drew Brees, precise with the arm, one of the best arms, hands small, but he can throw a football to, mm -hmm. right? So what is you as a human being? See, the problem is we want to be something that we, we try to emulate other people without figuring out who we are as people. Who you are as a person. And that's where a man in a household not being there lacks. Because a man will tell you, stop acting like your mom. Stop acting like your sister. Stop acting like your brother. Be you. He going to try to bring the original you Women 
women can do that, but not all women can. Because all they're going to tell you is how you're supposed to be based on what they know. Don't be like your daddy. You need to do this. You need to do that. Treat women right, which is good. We get that. But we also don't get the, you need to find out who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we we, we were told that all women are good people. Are are good people. A woman will nurture you the whole time she's nurturing you. She's taken away from you being independent. Mm -hmm. So now you got these grown ass men that don't know how to pay bills. They get your money though. Yeah. But they don't pay no bills. How do you get money but don't pay no bills? Oh, I have no bank account. Don't have no bank. Oh, you're going to have to just give me cash and cash out. What the fuck is a cash out? Hey, man. It's like got multiple. Like, right there's so much ways to get a bank account. Yeah. What the fuck is a cash out? I got two more boys really? these brothers. One could be up 20 bands, and the other one could be. Can't even figure out where he's gonna get his lunch, and then that should that situation will change in in, in in two months from that, and they'll be the opposite. And these these dudes, they'll talk to each other every day, but it's like you gotta get your own money, and they just got that rivalry going. Bro, everybody, it's, 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 it's horrible to be brothers and have a rivalry like that, where it's a crazy world. We can't help each other grow. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of hate. On my own yeah. personal experience with my own brother, Lord, everybody know who my brother is, right? I've never hated. Or told my brother nothing I wouldn't do or take for myself, right? And there's been times I look at him and be like, "Bro, you fucking up, bro, you fucking up." But I'm telling you, fucking up, and you still continue to fuck up. As a big brother, it's your life. I'm gonna fuck up. You was a grown ass man, just like I, I'm a grown ass man. Well, I'm not sure. So, are you a brother's keeper? I once was. The reason why I said once was because again, you are a grown ass man. There's gonna be times when I've had my brother look at me and tell me you ain't shit da 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 and I had to turn around and say, okay, cool. You only love somebody so much, they gotta wanna help themselves. I love you, but I'm gonna step aside. That's a fact. That's a fact. Say something, because you know the truth. And boy, hey, we ready to go to the strip club and do what the, you know, do what we do. Real junky shit. You already know. Mo Brazy, DY. <laughs> Shout out. DJ Meat, you already know it. And our phantom guest over in the corner. Yes, sir. Goddamn right. <laughs> Earl <and> Squirrel. <laughs> Earl <and> Squirrel. <laughs> but, like, no, no, but for real, though, like, men, men as a, we, we just need to um, understand our deficiencies and work on them. Mm-hmm. I've, for the past year and a half, two years, I've tried my best to understand my deficiencies. Uh, and become a better human being. That means I had to cut off certain things I was doing, acting a certain way. Right. People in my life, I had to get rid of it. Because at the end of the day, as a man, I can't carry that in my 40s and 50s and 60s. Well, what, what the fuck am I going to have? We I can't the same homeboys today that you had in first grade. It's not going to work. <laughs> you can't have all the same homeboys. Yeah. You can still be cool with some of them. You can still see them and be like, what's good? You know what I'm saying? Different paths in life that we all have to take. We all have our own destiny, our own feeling. And sometimes, if we, you know, you got to journey alone. Yeah. But I mean, like, it, it's, I just feel like, you know, we should hold no, no malice, no ill feeling towards no one. It should be love. We you know love everybody, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got number love for everybody. You know what I mean? No, Especially if it's a strip club, chunky. Yeah. <laughs> Let everybody know man, where they can follow you at. Um, you can follow me at me at uh, Boss Breezy three hundred five. That's my personal page. So if you see me singing in a car, oh well, bitch, I don't care. I'm having fun. I'm living life. <laughs> um, then you got Strip Club Junkies. I don't even at Strip Club Junkies. You can follow us. We got the shirts. We got a party bus coming up. Come fuck with us on a party bus. So it's we have a junkie with two E's, right? Yes, yeah. Not with the I E's. It's two E's with the strip club junkie. Okay. Um, party bus. We have events coming up. DJ Me. You already know it's strip club underscore junkies. Um, DJ Me. Strip club king. Fuck with you long way. We got a whole lot of business coming with DJ Me. DJ Me been running from us for a minute. Too. No, no, no. I'm just trying to get shit in order on my end, on my side. But, you know. And we, we're, we're here. We're here for the long run. Trust me. We're all shits. We with the shits. shits. Yeah, all right, though. Strip club junkies. The DJ Me show. DJ Me podcast. 
We go. And you can catch me at DY Untamed. D Y U N T A M E D at DY Untamed. Y'all That's our musician and our producer in the background. That's what it is. Music, editing, producing. We're going to make it happen, baby. Yes, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. It's your boy DJ Meat. You ain't never find me yet. Go on.